For if we are truly created equal, then surely the love we commit to one another must be equal as well. Murawski says it was a quote from President Obama's inaugural address that started the conversation which led to his dismissal. The best word I have is disappointed and disappointment born out of my lack of surprise. Murawski says he posted a quote from the president's speech on his Facebook page, which led to a blog post called Choose Your Battles. In the post, Murawski talks about accepting diversity, and he says, quote, I unabashedly believe that gay people should be allowed to marry. He goes on to say, gay marriage is not something of which to be afraid. I feel like if your love for some somebody makes you a better person and you go in the world and share that idea with someone else and it makes somebody else better maybe or somebody else better, then you should be allowed to do that. And you certainly, I feel, should be allowed to say you support that. Murawski says he and his wife never thought the post would get him fired. The Archdiocese found out about Murawski's post from one of his co-workers. He was given a choice, recant or lose his job, something he says he never considered doing. Today, some Purcell Marion students protested at the Archdiocese downtown office on his behalf. And we want them to know that this isn't fair and they need to hear our voices because we're the ones who he's with every day. Murawski questions why his comments got him fired when he says other employees of the Archdiocese are not reprimanded for public comments on other issues that go against the teachings of the church. What about the thousands of uh, educators employed by Archdiocese all over the country? or Catholic hospitals or Catholic institutions all over the country that publicly support war and publicly support the death penalty, both of which are in direct contradiction with the teachings from Rome. And they've never once, there's not a case, at least that I know of, that I've seen that they were fired.